Well, you know where I'm at, so I don't have to tell you, and things are about to get really weird over here. Might as well just go ahead and jump right into this. Uh, there's one final thing that I need to do over here at the flip house in terms of our punch out list, and it deals with in there, in the bathroom, y'all. Man, that's super bright. And it deals more specifically within the tub. The tub does not drain fast, and that's a brand new drain line in that tub. However, I feel like people were dumping, I don't know, grout or whatever down in here, which possibly led to this thing getting clogged up. Now, here's what we're getting, oh shoot. Here's what we're getting ready to do, folks. We're getting ready to use uh, something like some Drano down there in this thing to hopefully make this drain a little better and that's right i am sitting on the toilet super small little toilet up in here you might notice that i've got the frisky feelers on right now as well yeah we're gonna need them for this now this is not drano that we're using it is about as strong as it gets this stuff is called flow easy drain opener it's gonna open your grippers up real good uh, this is professional grade commercial grade drain cleaner and it says it dissolves any organic material hair grease paper rag soap sludge but this stuff is super super potent and what it is it's i think it's acid i, I read somewhere on here that this is acid it is virgin sulfuric acid so hopefully these little frisky feelers are going to be enough now what they say about this stuff is you need to put some petroleum jelly down around the area where you're going to be pouring this. You don't pour a whole lot. It says to pour a quart of this up in there. Uh, we're going to make sure we pour enough and then said within 15 minutes this thing should be draining. Well, here's the kicker, folks. I ain't got no petroleum jelly. And what I have is crazy. I've got this right here, and don't ask me where I got this from. Let's just say it came out of the stripper storage unit. Folks, what this is, is Anal Ease Desensitizing Gel. <laughs> We're gonna use some anal lube down here. It's not petroleum jelly, but it's gotta be pretty close, right? Yeah, things are about to get pretty weird. This stuff is called Crazy Girl. Girl, you crazy if you messing around with this Anal Ease Desensitizing gel hopefully this is going to be able to combat sulfuric acid we're about to find out so let's go ahead and get a little weird up in the bathroom let's go ahead and pop this top off right here all right all right um uh yeah that's pretty weird yeah we're just gonna is that all of it Come on now. Come on now. Ain't no lube in a bathtub. All right. Well, the game plan with this is to definitely make sure. Oh, wow. That uh, kind of feels like petroleum jelly right there. Yeah. I never felt anal lube, but it feels exactly like uh, what, you, what you might imagine that it would feel like. Pretty slimy, pretty weird, and uh, pretty greasy. Okay, I'm going to need to definitely be careful with this part. So let's see if we can set you guys up uh, over here somewhere. Maybe on top of the toilet. All right. Don't you go falling now, camera. Don't you go falling. They say don't get this on anything. Now, why would there be a top that you need a knife to get into this with? We're just going to use an old key. Cover this up. Oh, my God. Okay, it's open. Hopefully, we're gonna be okay. All 
All right, I put a decent little chunk of this up in there. And I definitely hear some draining going on. So we let this sit for 15 minutes and then we flush it with cold water for five minutes. All right, I'll get back with you guys in 15 minutes and let's see if this worked. Sounds like it's doing something. All right, 15 minutes later, let's see. Let's see what it does. I still see stuff down there, but it says run the water for five minutes. Crazy all those bubbles coming up. It looks like it must be doing something. Hmm. Well, that's pretty, pretty strange. Still having draining issues, so I guess we're probably going to have to snake this. I wonder if we can plunge it. What the hell is all of that? Okay, well, even sulfuric acid ain't strong enough to get through whatever the hell's going on down there. So... Gonna have to figure something else out. Back over at the flip house Friday morning, was just over here yesterday working on this damn drain, and no bueno. Here we go, we still got water built up, and this thing is still bubbling, look at that. That is not good. So, I'm getting ready to go get a snake, see if we can snake this tub out. And Joe the plumber today. Let's see if we can make something happen. Gotta go to Lowe's. Let's go to Lowe's, get a snake, and try to fix this damn tub. Alright, just got back from Lowe's, and <clears throat> here's what we got. We got the skinny mini snake. Boom. That's gonna fit right down in there real good. And we also got us a little handheld plunger, which... I wonder if, does that help at all? Come on now. Nothing. All right, well, let's go on an adventure. Let's see if we can get the snake down in the drain and see what kind of goodies we can uncover. Maybe there's some, I don't wanna say nothing crazy, but who knows what's down in this drain, folks. So, try to make sure that we don't lose the camera. That looks pretty good. You guys can't see exactly what I'm doing, but. All right, I've never used one of these before, so. <clears throat> Let's see how it goes. Okay, down. There it goes. Oh shit, I, got, I just touched that water. It's probably got 
acid in it. Hopefully my finger's not gonna fall off. Something. I feel like we're on something or we're at a bend. All right, it is Saturday morning over here at the flip house and still on, still on the plumbing. About to show you guys what it is. So what have we tried? We've tried the sulfuric acid. We've tried the snake. We've tried the plunger. All of those things did not work at all. There was standing water in the tub for like three days. I came over here this morning, there was no standing water. And I've got Richard helping me today and he's currently up under there. The only option that was left was to try to cut this pipe out and try to figure out what the hell was going on with this plumbing. We figured it was some sort of a grout buildup in the plumbing and let me show you what we got. All right, there's one piece that was cut out. Here's the other piece that was cut out and look at that. Mm. There was our clog right there, folks. There should be. And she's pretty bad in that one, but nowhere near as bad as the other one. So we got some new pipe that's getting installed right now. And it's again Richard doing this. I I don't do too well up underneath the house. So cool deal. Once we get these pipes put back together, we just got back from Lowe's getting those pipes put back together. We're gonna have a nice draining tub. We checked the vent as well. A lot of people commented saying that it possibly could be a vent issue. We've checked that there is ventilation for that pipe, for that drain pipe under there. So that was a possibility, but it's not that. You guys seen what it is. It was all grout. So in the next house, we got to make sure that we are not washing out in the tub because grout definitely doesn't go down in the pipes very well at all. All right, it's pissing down rain outside, but we're done. We're done. We had to tear the pipe out. That was what had to be done. And here it is. No backing up at all. Oh yeah, that drained all the way down. Good deal. That was the final thing on the list that had to be done over here. Everything is done over here. Ooh, good Lord, that got super dark. And we're done. So hopefully next time you guys hear anything about this, it's gonna be closing day. That'll be a really exciting day. All right, let's go home. Oh, and real quick, very, very special shout out to Richard. Without him, this wouldn't have got fixed. So Richard, thank you very much, brother. <laughs>